Hello, everyone. My name is Michal Stanishevsky. I'm a next-gen coach, and I'm here to show you on how to set up stay-at-home piling machine. And you will need shaft or dowel. You will also need the uh, zip ties, and also you will need A pulley, uh, this one is two inch pulley. You will also need to use a rock, uh, also the rock as the anchor and ban bungee cords. Anyway, let's start with the setting up the shot. So uh, for everyone it's gonna be different length, but this one uh, is about 48 inches long. Um, Let's go with it. So I would like you to cut four zip ties. And it's for making sure that you can attach bungee cord to the shaft at the place that you would like to designate and the bungee cord doesn't slip inward or outward. So I just place the part of the zip tie, the plastic one, and just tape into the shaft multiple times. Okay, and we need this we need to do this on box side. Okay. Okay, so one side is already done. that this is necessary so the bungee cord doesn't slip uh, inward or outward but it stays in a, in a place okay so let's go rub a few times okay the easiest way I found it is just kind of stick the plastic into the tape and then just into the shaft. All right. So for some people that have, doesn't have a carbon shaft, uh, but the wood da uh, dowel, I suggest they use the um, electrical tape and basically wrap around to make sure it's not rough for the hands to avoid any blisters and damaging. Okay, so you can do you can continue and then do the same thing on both hands on both sides. So it is where you hold the hands. Okay. Uh, the next thing I would like to to do is um, taking the bungee cord and create the, the loop that will eventually slide over the shaft and stay here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sh shaft on the side for now. Take the zip tie and Making sure that just making sure that this is small enough so when I put on the shot it stretches so this looks good. Making 
tie. That's why you need that's why you need the uh, heavy duty zip tie so it doesn't break when you power. Okay. Also on the other side, and you have to repeat twice. Okay, and making sure that one of those loops are enough small so it stretches when you're placing over the shock. Okay. okay, this part is done and you can see it fits well and it will stay there because of those zip ties that are sitting on each side of the shaft. We'll do the same on this side. Okay. Again, you can move this part anywhere you want. Depends of your grip. So depends if you have a narrow or wider grip. Um, then you need to attach the rope. So you attach the rope to one side. It's all depend. You decide what kind of knot you want to use it. But solid and strong one is good enough. Okay. Then let's skip that part. Next part, making sure you feed through fully. Okay. And then. Make sure you attach to the bungee. Okay, and it looks like the this part is finished. You need some anchor and a anchor to attach to this. So I suggest to use uh rock um any length so you can attach to door or anything that is very solid i will attach to the door handle but if you um if you wanted to stick at the any uh, any high uh, between the doors and frame you can attach something bigger here and then basically uh, put this outside so it doesn't slide between the doors. Uh, so I'm moving forward. I will attach this to the door and then we can start out. The reason I use this bungee cord is just for the resistance and also a, a good feel. It actually feels really good. And it feels almost like you would be uh, placing the blade in the water, and then eventually you feel a, a nice resistance. And also the the uh, the rope, uh, there's no slack on the rope, so you feel like it's a nice tension. Ready? And go. I want to talk a little bit about the foot pegs. I know it's necessary to create tension and support. You need, you, you need a foot peg. Okay, so now I have also uh, foot pegs that allows me to put some more resistance and do some uh, leg work as well. You have to be creative. Uh, in my case, uh, I have used two simple straps. And original foot rest. And With the straps I attached to the table 
and the table for me become seat and boat. Three, two, one, go. So the reason I designed this simple stay at home poly machine is to make sure we stay at home, uh, we stay active, uh, and, uh, and uh, eventually you can also take wherever you want uh, if it comes to traveling and training. Thank you so much.